The call to not have a welcome to country ceremony or the Aboriginal flag during the dawn service came as a shock to Indigenous veterans. To me, I think it's, it's like old school thinking, something from the 30s or the 40s. The move was prompted by a suburban dawn service last year when the Ode of Remembrance was delivered in the Noongar language. They shall grow not old. Bala Ewart, Manjang Kulin. The RSLWA board believes it just wasn't appropriate. Whilst uh, you have it in English and in Noongar, uh, what about all the other languages that make up those uh, communities and those people who served? But the thing is, where do you stop? The only exception it's willing to accept is the Maori verses in New Zealand's national anthem. But the RSL move has brought wide criticism. So I talk to my members who are Indigenous Australians um, and they're quite proud of their service and they're quite proud to be recognised within the national service. Acknowledgement of country has got nothing to do with divisiveness. Actually what the RSL have done is divisive and uh, it was creating a problem where it didn't exist. The WA Premier also weighed in, strongly urging the RSL to reconsider, saying they add something special to the occasion. The national RSL says each state branch makes its own decisions, but Indigenous representation at the National War Memorial during its Anzac Day dawn service will continue. RSL WA has stressed its new policy is not enforceable, and a number of local governments have already said they won't be following it. James Carmody, ABC News.